Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. I am your girl, Milan Garcon. <laughs> I am on my way to this city. I just have to make one stop. Wow, that was a branch. <laughs> I have to make one stop at a uh, money order place because I am on my way to sign my name petition so that it could be filed in the court system and they could go ahead and do all of that stuff. And hopefully in like two months, my name change will be legal. And I'm so excited. And especially since like the project 2025 or whatever that they're doing, I want everything to be like as set in stone as it can be because I don't want the nation to start flipping upside down. And then I can't like, I don't have any legal backing to my transition style. So all of my young girls out there, all of my girls that have been transitioning and transitioned for years and years and years and, you know, have certain technicalities that maybe can't, don't allow you to get your name changed easily, try to do whatever the fuck you can because I don't know what all of this is gonna turn into, but as much legal backing as you have on your transition will probably help save lives. So I will talk to you all in a few, but I'm gonna get this money order and go to the city. All right, y'all, so I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. I just got me a caramel macchiato, bam, and a sausage cheese croissant. But I gotta get a straw and then the train is right there, so I'm about to walk there get on it make sure i have my ticket and then i'm gonna be in the city like 45 minutes early like i can't really leave it <laughs> your girl's getting a new day but hey y'all so i am at the law offices that are doing my name change i'm here i got all of my things let me just show you here is my money order and then i brought i only had to bring like my birth certificate and my new york id with my address on it but i said fuck it I brought my passport, my sister, I brought everything. I don't want no, I don't want nothing to be like, oh, we can't, or oh, we still need this, or oh, we need a, no. I brought everything, honey. I'll see if I can like record me signing the thing, or whatever, whatever. I'll see what I can record, I'll see what I can't. And then um, I will let you all know how this process is gonna go from here on out. I'm really excited, like, I don't know. We'll see, I'll, I'll ask a bunch of questions and hopefully I come out with a bunch of answers or you can hear the questions being answered. I don't know. I'm just getting excited and I'm rambling. So I will talk to you all in a few. Hi, Summer. <laughs> We're about to, you know, sign these papers and do the things. I'm probably just gonna ask whatever questions pop up in my head. Yeah, and then hopefully there are questions that you guys can answer. So I'm really <laughs> excited. I'm just gonna set this up any old kind of way. Okay. I'm sure it has to be recording. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm sure you know hopefully. your angles. Hopefully. So, like I said, this won't take very long, mm -hmm. um, especially since you've reviewed the documents. But um, I do want to just walk through. We always. I always tell my wife, signature is one of your most important assets. Yes, it so is. So I always want to make sure people understand what they're signing. Mm -hmm. So we are representing you in the joint petition that is seeking the name change and then also the sex designation change. Mm -hmm. And as we discussed, since you were born in Ohio and there's kind of a little like, uh, about your ability to change your gender marker or yeah. correct your gender marker there, um, having this court order can be helpful in that process right. in Ohio. So we, we want you to have it just in case. And that's for the birth it. certificate. For the solely. birth certificate. Okay, got you. Right, got exactly. You. Right. So for instance, on your passport, you can correct your gender marker okay. and they even now allow for an X. Right, right, right. Which I I've love. Seen that. So yeah, so so just because Ohio might be a little right. you know, reserved or backwards. Other things um, still you know, yeah. Um, we're representing you on a pro bono basis, so you're not being charged in for any of our services. Um, and then, okay. and um, as I mentioned, the money order you're brought today is just to cover the filing fee itself. Right, they right, won't yeah. let us pay out of pocket for that. And that's um, really the scope of this. I'm happy to give you time. I mean, I know I kind of just like ran. Yeah, no. So and then you I could sign, sign, do I sign? You can sign your name, like your chosen name. Perfect, yes. okay. Yeah, great. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From this point, what does like the process and quote unquote timeline look like? Because I know it's Long Island, so we, we don't have any exact. Yes, Thank, thanks for adding that caveat that yeah. I would have said, right? <laughs> um, once it's filed, again, typically what happens is, you know, the clerk kind of gives it a once over, make sure that there aren't any like glaring mistakes, mm -hmm. which there won't be because right. we've done this before. Um, and then they will pass it to the judge and it goes on the judge's desk. Now, the kind of unknown in terms of timing is how big is the pile on the judge's desk to review? Like mm -hmm. how busy is the judge, right? 
Um, I always set the expectation it could take two to three months. Okay. It usually does not take that long, right? We talked about um, if for some reason the judge courthouse to pick them up for us of course. and I'll email you and be like woohoo we have your name change order so mm -hmm. exciting um I'll verify that you want them to go to your the same address right mm -hmm. that nothing's changed with that and then we'll fax them to you <laughs> so um as we mentioned you know at the outset our the scope of our representation is limited to entry of the name change order mm -hmm. so the onus is going to be on you to update the documents and right such. yeah um but I will give you a kind of primer on what that looks like okay and as we discussed, it's very similar to if you got married and you changed your name, right? right? Except instead of the marriage certificate, now you'll be using the this court order. Court order. Love right. that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then I remember we were talking about how many copies I wanted. That would be something that we would do once everything is pro like going through. And then yeah. all of those copies come from the court, they would send us as many. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, like we'll, we'll go and get them. Yeah. They okay. usually okay. recommend five or six. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And then. When that time comes, then I'll know, and that will probably be another money order. It may be. Okay, yes. we'll see when but we get we'll, there. We'll discuss. I know how to get it and, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that should be de minimis. In New York, the cost per copy is, I think, like six dollars. Yeah, no. So yeah. It, it shouldn't be anything. Just want to make sure, like, oh my god, that's specific. Yeah, in there. no, okay, no, perfect. no, that's fine. Okay, yeah. so we'll handle that later. Yeah. I think that so those are pretty much all of my questions. Any other questions that I, that would probably arise would be as we're going along the process. Yeah. If anything pops up, so you know, I I look at it. And I think most people do, but like, you should be able to change your name as a matter of right, right? Right, your, absolutely. Your file is very, as I put for like very vanilla in terms of there's no nuts for a judge to chew on. There's mm. nothing that would give any indication of any nefarious right. intent, right? Yeah, no. Like, it's very, very straightforward. So, the girl over my Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and with that, this is Susan, the notary. Yeah. But either way, I'm gonna email you as soon as it yeah. is on the docket. Okay, perfect. Go from there. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yay. Perfect. Thank you, so much for thank you for having me. Thank yeah, you for guys. This is the view. Super amazing. Super cute. I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get outside because I'm not gonna give you a free tour. Okay, y'all. Real quick, this is what I have on today. I don't want to be in the bathroom too long. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go and get like a drink or something to celebrate. I don't know. So we'll figure it out. But the skin is given. My goal was to get the name change first, like get that type of stuff done first before I start worrying about doing anything with my body. And I spilt my coffee. So I've been trying to keep this a little scrunched up, but this titty right here, it's my girl. This one, we gonna call her Earl. No, I'm just playing. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm meeting up with my good, good girlfriend. The fuck is gay? Hi. You guys talking to the mic. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just yeah. I just sent yeah, everything in for my official name change. Yes. New name, who it is? Transform okay. her. Transform her. You ate that no shade. Um, okay, so y'all, we're about to this go to B and H Cos. I mean, I said B and H Cosmetics, B and H Photo, but B and H Cosmetics is a thing. Their highlighters are really cute. But um, we're gonna do that, and then I want to look at a good camera for vlogging because I want to stop doing that. I want to stop. <laughs> Did you make so money? Hell yeah, I used to make money on my motherfucking YouTube channel. Y'all better tell Julia what the fuck. <laughs> but that's when I was in college and I was posting weekly vlogs and I was really on my it. shit. I started transitioning and I lost my mind. Dead. Just kidding. But no, I was just kind of looking at these Sony cameras right here, you all. So I am in the market for one. If anyone wants to purchase the camera, you know, so we can have better quality content and I can always keep you all updated. And then my Instagram pictures, let me know and I'll find a way for you all to donate. But if not, I'm still going to get the shit my motherfucking stop. But uh, yeah, I'm going to know what Julian is doing. Julian Andrews, what's going on? Baking a cake. Baking a cake. We love the 
it's just gonna be B roll. I'm gonna put that there. I wasn't that first one. <laughs> Is it your being juicy? It's it's juicy. Juicy. <laughs> oh, it is giving juicy. 91 degrees, honey, we're juiced. <laughs> this is low hanging juicy fruit, honey. Ooh, low hanging fruit. Mwah. All right, y'all, so we are in mood fabrics now because my girl is making kimono caftan. Yes, that is some white shit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's some Fire Island shit. <laughs> I don't think there's, a, there's actually not enough of it anyway. It's not enough? It's never enough. It's never enough. No, this is... You need, you need fabrics like this, honey. You need to think out of this world. You need to think moon, galaxy, darling. You need to think very, very... Um, she wanted to catch the light. Very the soul of the world, honey. Unearthly. Feathers. So we finally made it to get the espresso martini. You want to tell me how long it took us? Two hours is my fault. Two hours. And we were only two blocks away. Because we had to go fabric shopping for fucking um, Asian caftan. Never again, you all. Never again. Next time I will get the espresso martini and you can meet me here. Are you ready to cheer? Cheer. Now these are special martinis made with repasada. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining me. That was worth the wait. Thank you for. It was worth the wait. Now I'm happy. That's all it took. All it took was a fucking espresso martini. You know. You know me. Hey, you guys. So um, I was planning on possibly going out. But those two martinis with Rosado took your girl out. So I'm about to go to sleep. Today's vlog has been fun. I know I didn't upload anything, but that's my fault because I wanted to celebrate. But I think I had a good reason to. So I'll definitely catch up a day. But tomorrow is going to be fun too. I'm hanging out with my daughter. And yeah, we're going to have a day in the city. So we're going to go to some art museums, do a fabric store run, and then go grab a bite to eat. And catch up on teachers. She just told me she had mad drama. So I'm about to lay my butt back down. Be an old lady. Martinis are not my thing, clearly. And yeah, that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. It's been real. It's been fun. But it ain't been real fun. Stay safe and stay dangerous.